afternoon guys happy friday no happy friday to me happy wednesday to you guys um i'm quite up to date with my vlogs at the moment maybe a little too up to date i'm getting a bit of a pickle on my camera roll because i've got quite a lot of videos and i'm very good about taking them but then yeah so i uh, need to have a bit of a tidy up need to do some editing and kind of i say editing that's a very loose word i kind of just shove them together um anyway just about to get these guys in and it's gonna do some work with sienna i would love to long rain her but i haven't got an extra pair of hands today and as much as i want to risk it i don't i think she needs to have someone help me get her going i um, don't need help once i'm going but i think the initial bit i need help with just just a couple more times to get her really confident before trying it on my own so we're going to just do a bit of back to basics kind of in hand work in the arena so um i might even get the flag back out that kind of thing because actually i probably have been neglecting that a little bit where we've been moving forward with like leaning over her long reigning that kind of thing i probably haven't been doing quite as much groundwork in hand work whatever you want to call it and then yeah it's quite noticeable she's a little bit cheekier she's a little bit more kind of i've noticed she's where she was always so good about respecting my personal space not quite as good anymore so i think it'll be good to just go over a few things it's sort of you know that sort of stuff i really shouldn't ignore um so that's the next one you'll see that i have also changed the introduction the titles whatever you want to call them to the beginning of my vlog i just thought the original ones were a bit long <laughs> and get a bit bored after a while so i've tried to shorten them up a bit and really i've just done a couple of photos so and changing music um so let me know what you think it's not very exciting i'm not really into making fancy pants titles or anything like that just something um so yeah anyway i'm gonna get these guys in I'm going to have a play with Sienna. Oh, I've left her a little surprise in the arena. We'll see what she thinks. I think she might be a bit scared so of it. I brought Sienna in for a bit of a play. And this feels quite old school, like the flag out. I mean, I haven't probably haven't used the flag in, well, well over a month. I've got some poles set out for her. I just thought, since I haven't, like I say, haven't got an extra pair of hands to long rain her with, it would be good for her to just go and stand in between the blocks, that kind of thing. But what she hasn't seen is my lovely bright jump for joy filler because most of the time i keep it undercover just so it doesn't lose its brightness if we're not using it so we're gonna venture over see what she thinks i think she's naturally a bit looky at fillers you know some horses just don't care she i mean bless her at least she's willing to sniff it like Artie doesn't doesn't see fillers which is lovely if if he ever got to compete which he doesn't but like he just doesn't notice fillers whereas I think she's a bit more observant. It's a nice Union Jack on the other side. What do you think? What do you think? I know, we haven't had this out. You probably just think it's something to chew.
So she was really good in the school and actually hasn't forgotten anything, which is amazing. I was so impressed, especially with the flag work. Anyway, we're going to go for a little solo walk because she only did about 10 minutes in the school, but she didn't need to do any longer because everything she did was great. So we're going to go for a little solo walk down the field just to the bottom and then come back up. But just good to remind her that not everything is done in the school and that she should be as comfortable in the field doing work as she is in the arena. But she was brilliant, really good girl. So I'm using Coop as my, don't sneeze on me, as my model. Um, he's all a bit mucky because he's been in the stable. But I have brought this lunging cavison, which is something I've not had before. And I actually, uh, well, I quite often lunge with a head collar on or a halter. And half the time they end up under the eyes or they've really shifted and they don't fit well. So when I saw this, it's on a um, eBay page or eBay business kind of page. And they have a lot of prototypes like... They have head collars and stuff, but they are kind of, like I say, prototypes where you might have a little air, like mistake on them. Random things can be, uh, like, I'm not making any sense right now. Just many different leathery things. Excuse my stable, I've only just got back from work. It needs mucking out. Anyway, I saw this and I thought, oh my gosh, it's like the old fashioned ones that you used to get. Um, because like I say, I find if you do it, if you lunge in a halter or a head collar, the head collar always slips and ends up being under their eyes. Whereas this, I have to say, it's absolutely beautifully made. Like I'm so, in, the quality, the leather feels incredible. Um, and you can see there's a strap under the throat. Um, I need to just tighten bits up and stuff, but it's beautiful. Look, and I'm really excited to use it. I don't lunge like massive amounts. But, you know, when I do lunge, it will be really nice to have something. I need to push this up a little bit. Really nice to have something that's good quality. And hopefully, like, I can see that this is not going to slip. Like, this is not going to move. Once I've done it up properly, it's not going to move. But I have to say, it is beautiful. Like, the leather, um, the, like, there's leather work on it is stunning. And like I say, the leather feels very nice indeed. But look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm so chuffed with it. And it was 30 quid because it's like a prototype. It's ridiculous. Like, I'm just so impressed. I'm so chuffed as well. Um, it's not padded, which I guess maybe would have been nice. But the leather feels so lovely that I don't think it needs to be padded, to be honest. Um, so, yeah. Um, I just think it's beautiful. Really like the old-fashioned ones that you used to get that you don't really come across anymore. Thanks, Q. I see you. Cute's favourite thing is to pull his haylage out of his bowl and chuck it in his bed. It's his favourite game. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you it, guys, because I just think it's gorgeous. Um, and something that I think I will get probably a lot of use out of. Afternoon, guys. Proper kind of grey. I wouldn't say miserable, but it's very windy. It's not that warm, even though it's a lot milder than it has been. It's a bit wet. It's just, you know, one of those days. Um, I'm poo picking. Firstly, does anyone, excuse me, you know, taking a video of my horse's muck, does anyone's mare do this to their poo? I assumed it was the birds, right? Spreading it all out like that. There you go. What a lovely view for you. Um, but I saw her in the yard. She went to the loo and then she scraped it everywhere. Anyone know of a mare do mares doing that? I, mean, I haven't had many mares, so it's... Well, they have, but none of the mares I've had have ever done that. So I don't know what that's all about with her doing it. I still think it's probably boredom. Um, you can see her in the field and there's so little grass. Anyway. Finally managed to get Sienna out to her third long raining session. There's been a bit of a gap, so she did two very close together and then has had a gap of about six or seven days, which is not ideal to today. And she was very good to kind of put all the gear on, so that was good. And she was good. We had a couple of teething issues. One was stopping. She's a little bit... I mean, she hasn't got that much practice with having the bit in and having a little bit of pressure put on her mouth and a couple of times there when I said whoa and wait she got a little bit like now I want to carry on and sort of slightly ran through the bridle but I, that's just going to be practice and time um she is very wobbly very wiggly so sometimes when you go to sort of have a halt and then ask her to walk on she can sort of veer off in many different directions here was actually a really lovely turning bit she turned really nicely excuse what i'm wearing it was sunday afternoon i was going for a chilled vibe in my clothing um 
so we just did lots of practice of halts and walking on i'm a little bit close to her i do know that but with the steering being a bit dodge i found it easier to be a little bit nearer but i feel i'm very aware of where i am with her and i keep an eye on her at all times obviously in case she does suddenly put a back up or something but she hasn't she's been very good um so at the end here because she'd got a little bit cheeky in the middle about stopping i just did lots of halts you can see here she goes to go backwards and then she veers slightly to the left so i really need to work on making sure that when i ask her to walk on she stays straight but that's just practice and time and you know she's up there on her own so this is a big step for any young horse some horses take to it better than others but either way i was so pleased about her frame and her outline she stays nice and relaxed long and stretched over her back and through her neck so that's really pleasing so all really good points but you know we've got to keep practicing afternoon guys sun setting i think it's only like half past four um excuse the mess at yard they've been eating their haylage over the door like they do um i just come on to end the book vlog really and it's been a it's been a nice sunday a nice sort of chilled sunday which is nice um i've got a hell of week next week sort of trying to work it into my diary i was like there's just not enough time for everything um which i hate because then i really want to continue working with sienna next week especially on the long raining because she had a big gap this week i can't remember she did i think she did some on monday and then she didn't do anything till or did no long raining till sunday and the gap was too big and today not that she was bad um i'm pretty sure you'll see the footage in this vlog but she didn't find it as easy so i really need to try and keep on it but i just don't know if we have the time for it next week at all um the joys of losing the light anyway as i said i'm going to end this vlog here Artie, don't you kick that door um but yeah i hope you've all had a lovely week wednesday's coming out on, on wednesday because i did actually put a vlog out on sunday just because i was getting a little bit i had too much footage and i just needed to get them out into vlogs so that i could sort of start afresh um, most of it's really probably i know you want your supper i know i know i know it's coming um it's not the most exciting footage as i always say i always feel like i'm putting out really very boring stuff but from a personal point of view i really like seeing the progress of sienna and yeah it's just for future memories i just think that was a bit cringe when people said that but i say it now it's kind of nice it's nice having all this footage of, to be able to watch back not necessarily right now but you know in five ten years time i feel like i'm gonna really really enjoy looking back over the horses and especially like i said with the coop and there's no point pointing at the camera at coop you'll never see him he never puts his head out of the door um yeah anyway i'm gonna go because i'm just wittering but uh yeah roll on another week and anyway we've managed the first week of november and what's even better it's next month yes it's christmas but even more excitingly for every question shortest day of the year and then get through that and we're off moving in the right direction you're tired now you are aren't you she gets so tired after she's worked <laughs> right i'm going